Growing up in Ireland, I didn't really understand what paleontology was. So we have an excellent geological record in Ireland, but we were missing the package of rocks that contains dinosaur fossils. So dinosaurs weren't really on my radar as a kid, and it wasn't something I developed until I went to university, and it was really having a university professor inspire me to be involved in paleontology. So a paleontologist is anyone who studies ancient life. Uh, that can be a range of different things. So it might be someone who uh, does research. So they're actually looking at the specimens, maybe identifying new species or looking at how ancient life existed. A paleontology technician will be the person who's doing the actual physical work on the fossil material. As a woman in paleontology, it's been relatively straightforward. Um, we're seeing now in grad schools that there were a lot of female researchers and a lot of female grad students. So these are some of the British shale fossils that we have here at the Royal Terrell Museum. This is a claw, so you can see these little spikes here on the claw. This is a claw of an animal called Anomalocaris. It definitely seems to be changing that we're seeing more women in science, and hopefully we'll see that push through into the research level as well. As head technician, I supervise the technicians here at the Royal Terrell Museum. It's really inspiring to see how passionate they are about their work. looked at this and not really sure what it is. And to hear their stories about fossils that they found or collected, and it does make you want to get out there and find more things. I mean, there were those weird bites slash fungal marks, whatever they were. What I enjoy about my job is I get to see so many different fossils coming through the preparation lab. The technicians really are at the forefront. We're the first people to see it often. And because we prepare the material, we remove the rock from the surface of the bone. We're often the, the first people who get to have that aha moment when something cool is, is discovered. Sometimes as a paleontologist, you can get to do really cool things. So you can make a discovery. Uh, in my case, I got to name a new taxon, a new animal. Uh, so something that's new to science, that's always really exciting. That's why any scientist does what they do. Um, it's always about having questions and trying to get to the answers of those questions. For kids who want to work with dinosaurs, get involved early. So if you can volunteer somewhere when you're a university student, uh, get involved in research early, and you really have to be passionate about it to be able to pursue it. There are a lot of people who want to do what we do, and unfortunately it is a small number who can, but those who are really passionate about it and have an aptitude for it will be able to succeed. To be around so many people who are passionate about the work that they do, and to be part of it, to be able to follow my own passions, it's really exciting, and working at the Royal Museum allows me to do that.